Hi, Chris at VR Flight Sim here. I just wanted to share with you my quick fix for the uh, cloud shadow flickering issue that seems to still be a problem in Vulcan uh, Beta 3. I'm not knocking the beta at all before anyone says. Um, it's done wonderful things for all of our FPS, so uh, we, we're really grateful for that. And I'm sure they'll fix the shadow rendering as well. A lot of the data references that we used to be able to manipulate in the uh, previous version of X-Plane are now locked. Uh, when you look at them in, in the data ref editor, um, but there is still one that makes a difference. So we're gonna go through that now. So first of all, let's look at the problem. I'll just switch to the simulator here and on screen, there we are. So um, if I just unpause this, what you can see out the window is that on the ground where the cloud shadows are being rendered, there's a huge amount of flickering going on. So let's just pause that again. So to fix that, what you do is get a, a, a plugin called the Data Ref Editor. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, the plugin comes in here and you click down Plugins, Data Ref Editor and Show Art Controls. Uh, click on Show Art Controls and this screen comes up with all the data references down the left. So at the bottom, just click down at the bottom left and you get a little cursor and type the word Limit and uh, the top uh, of those data references, it says clouds forward slash limit underscore far. And the default value is one. I want you to change that to 0 0.1. So change that to 0 0.1 and press enter. Then press close on that to get rid of the data ref editor screen. And now if we unpause the simulator and look out the window, you can see that they're absolutely solid edged clouds. The flickering is gone. And if I can change the time with shift K and shift and L, you can see that the edges of the cloud shadows remain solid. So, and as we turn using the yoke as well. So I'll just pause that again and let's go on. Uh, so, in summary, uh, download the data ref editor plugin. You can test different values of the clouds forward slash limit underscore far uh, data reference. Um, type it into the bottom left uh, to get the data reference up, type the word limit, and then change the value from 1 to 0 0.1 and press enter and see if it helps. Now, people that um, fly jets, Zebo pilots, all you guys out there that are into com commercial airliners, which I realize is many. Um, I do more general aviation and low flight. I have been told that this does just throw the problem further out towards the horizon. Um, but for me, as a low and slow pilot, it helps a lot. Maybe you could try different values of the limit far uh, data reference. Uh, anything above 0.2, I believe, is supposed to help as well for people at higher altitudes. Um, if it does work for you, you could use you could create your own Lua script with Fly with Lua uh, using the reference that's on screen at the moment. And uh, if that does help, and if you get different values to me that help, um, then then that's great. And just let me know in the comments. Okay, hope it helps someone. Take care. Bye.